Hey everyone, the long-awaited sequel is finally here. We're going to be showing off what BWSC can do. We're going to be editing trainer back sprites, trainer front sprites, Pokemon back sprites, Pokemon front sprites, and Pokemon static sprites. Pokemon static sprites are used for the Pokédex, as for every other sprite will be used for battle. So, in regards of tools of what you're going to be needing is Tink, Nitro Explorer, BWSE, Kiwi DS, and D DS Decomp. DS Decomp and BWSE must be in the same folder at all times. I will be leaving a link in the description for those tools. Also, you'll be needing a DS emulator, preferably one that can slow down. Desmu Me is actually a perfect emulator for that. A Pokemon Black, White, Black 2, or White 2 ROM. Um, you're also going to be needing a paint program with layers. I recommend Photoshop, obviously, Paint.net, or GIMP. Um, Paint.net is a very easy to use program. It's less advanced than GIMP. It's a lot more user friendly than GIMP. However, GIMP can GIMP is actually a lot is a much better program than Paint.net because GIMP does not add as much noise as Paint.net does, and we don't want noise because that adds more colors, and we don't want to add more than 16 colors in any of our uh, sprite edits. Regardless, I will be showing off or regardless I'll be leaving links in the description for both of these and these two programs are 100% free so don't worry about costs like uh, what Photoshop does but if you already own Photoshop I would strongly recommend that you use Photoshop for this tutorial anyway so let's start off with the easiest to explain the trainer back sprites so in the download link in the description where you can download all the required tools that is necessary to edit the sprites, there is a readme file. This is the original readme file from BWSE. If you click on the readme file, you may have noticed that there is information of where all the narcs that BWSE is capable of editing in both black, white, black 2, and white 2. In my case, we're going to be starting off with black 2 and white 2. Uh, back trainer sprites. If you're following along and want wish to edit black one and white one, the process is the exact same. I'm just going to be focusing on black two and white two because it gives me all the information that I that I need to explain. So now that we know where our narc is, let's open up Nitro Explorer. Load ROM, and in my case, it is this copy of white two. A, 0, 7, 3 if you're doing black 1 and white 1, 2 if you're doing black 2 and white 2. Extract. You can name the folder whatever you like. However, it is important that it must have the extension dot .narc. Oops. Anything in front of that, you can call it whatever you like. In my case, I'm going to call it bw2 underscore zero or a zero seven two so that way I know which narc I need to reinsert into press save now the next steps are going to be a little bit weird but it is a required step open up tink now scroll down until you see your narc click open now select the narc and then click unpack. The reason you have to do it this way instead of just opening up Tink and selecting the NARC and unpacking it is because it will add in a lot of unnecessary files once you extract it. Um, this is because it is extracting the entire ROM and not the NARC file. So this is just a required step that you have to do. You can extract the NARC from the ROM uh, using Tink but it is important that you must separate the ROM, the ROM, or the sorry, the NARC, no matter what. So after you unpack the NARC, click on Extract. Say yes, 
and then make new folder. The reason why you have to do this is because if you're to save the or if you're to save the extracted NARC into the same folder with the NARC, it'll say that there is a that pretty much this file already exists and it will not create your extracted NARC file. So make new folder, then click on the new folder and then press OK. Close out of Tink. Now you can finally use BWSE. Select folder. Actually, let me zoom in first. Select folder. Scroll down until you see your new folder, and then open the folder that was that's printed. That's your extracted NARC. Click OK. And it'll be talking about file one not found or file one found but needs uh, repacked properly. Uh, rename. Say yes and then click on start and that's the only time you have to do it with your folder or with that file now you may have noticed that I already edited this file here with pose 1, pose 2, pose 3 and then arm 1, arm 2, arm 3 this is, as a, this is a guide to pretty much how the game runs the that's the animation for when you throw your Pokeball. All of these arms are actually used in Pose 1. One. In fact, let me open up a video so that way you can see a little bit clearer in regards to what I'm talking about here. And it is this one. I believe. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Oh nope, it's not that one. Sorry, <laughs> it's this one. That's my bad. So as you can see here, we have pose one and arm one, pose one and arm two, pose arm or yeah, pose one and arm three. Then it goes to pose two, and then it goes to pose three. And it looks seamless when it's at full speed. And I actually kind of find that quite amazing. Anyway, um. Anyway, there's something I had to address before we actually uh, officially get to editing. Before you guys think that you can just simply... Oh, um... Uh, that's embarrassing. Uh, one second. Before you can think that you can just simply uh, swap the sprites, unfortunately, that it's not as simple as that. It is possible if the sprite is... If the sprite acts the same way as... Um, or if the sprite... Like, like for example, these three, uh, Chili, Cyan, and Cress. Um, as you can see here, that there are some floating limbs around. Uh, these floating limbs are actually a uh, part of the body that is just too big. So, in other words, if this was in pose three, like it's supposed to be, it would be in the way of pose two, and you will be seeing a severed limb just around pose two when it reaches that animation. So what it does is that it severs the limb um, up there and then attaches itself to pose 3. Uh, in a similar way that pose 1 kind of does the same thing with its own arms. So pose, so arm 1 is actually these two segments. Arm 2 is that little part right there and arm 3 is there. So if you're to rearrange these, so if you're, so you can actually copy and copy and paste these three without having any problems but if you were to copy and paste them to uh, say like Rosa who has an extra little limb here for pose 2 because her arm is too long um, you will see a bunch of severed limbs like this being like this being above her in pose 3 and and then uh, her arm in pose 1 is going to be like really weird and yeah, it's 
it's crazy. <laughs> that was a big mistake I made one time. Anyway, so because of this, it's not as simple as simply copy and paste. You will actually have to modify. You will have to modify the the sprite so that way it can cooperate with with whatever severed limbs that they kind of need. But I will go ahead and state that all the limbs pretty much work the same way. Pose one will be in the bottom corner. Pose two would be next to pose one, or sorry, arm one would be in the bottom corner. Arm two will be next to arm one, and then arm three will be in the upper corner. And that's the same way that it goes with every single sprite. So like for example, this test sprite right here, arm one, arm two, arm three, arm one, arm two, arm three, arm one, arm one, arm two, arm three. That is just the back part of Professor Juniper's, or that's just the left left arm of Professor Juniper for the same reason, and that's a part of her lab coat for the same reason. And uh, this is what I mean here. You can actually copy the copy and paste this to Nate Sprite um, because there isn't any conflicting um, severed limbs that is with with everything else. So. This is actually okay. So if you wish to play as as Hugh, you can do that. <laughs> anyway, so but the thing is though you will be needing to edit it for Wonder Guard, but or for the Wonder whatever that thing is called. The Wonder Tile. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but yes. Um that's the only downside, but overall it's the same concept. Now for those who are editing black one and white one, you may have noticed that if you're editing Hilbert, there there is actually this little extra part where it shows part of his part of his back and also the satchel. So this is just so that way it creates an illusion of fluent movement um, between him throwing the pokeball and him moving through with his satchel. Because if you noticed in uh, that little video I showed you. Um, the character was actually a little bit crooked and this basically is supposed to be there so that way um, it stays station stationary so that way the satchel looks like it's actually moving um, you can actually just simply delete this if you don't want the satchel to be around um, so there's that <laughs> but however everything else is actually required you'll need to you will need to figure out how to work with arm one, arm two, arm three, and his left arm, and his left arm for pose three. So it is a little bit like um, fixing up a puzzle, but believe me when I say that this is actually the easiest part of this entire tutorial. Or if you're really into Pokestar Studios and wanting to create your own sprites, that would be the easiest part of this tutorial. <laughs> because it's just a static sprite. Every single Pokestar Studio um, costume is in here, including Roxy's dad. In fact, there's actually two sprites um, because it's just easier to program for male and female. Um, so 29 will be male and then 30 will be female. And then that's actually all the sprites that is in there. And I'm now done explaining the important bits that you need to know about editing these sprites. And now we get to the actual editing, which is a doozy to explain itself. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, file, save as, save it as a PNG. I'm just going to name it to mail ed, save. Okay, Latin. Okay, now let's go back. Go to BWSE, select folder, new folder, and then the extracted NARC, import image, select your new image, press open. Now, just to make sure that we don't have any missing pixels, let's scroll down and then scroll back up. 
and everything looks fine so now let's go ahead and reinsert it into the ROM I made a little mistake earlier so I have to do this again I apologize um, anyway um, so what you want to do is open up uh, BWSE select folder scroll down to new folder and then BWSA or er, and then your NARC and now what you want to do is import the image and now you're done so close out of BWSC oh wait no before that scroll down and then scroll back up to see if there's any inconsistencies with color in my case it looks okay so we're good so close out of that after you close out of BWSC delete your old NARC now go to QVDS file or sorry tools make a NARC file now under source file folder click on the three dots and now find your extracted NARC which should be under new folder and then there it is so click OK now press OK and now your NARC is now you have a brand new NARC now go to Kiwi or sorry go to Nitro Explorer load ROM and now I'm going to be doing it over here I had to change the file names in order to um, make it work correctly I goofed a little bit last episode last time I did this press open a zero seven two if you're doing black two and white two three if you're doing black one white one reinsert and then insert your new NARC press OK now on the bottom here it should say that the file has been successfully been replaced like it does right there and now let's open up the ROM which is located right here into your into your DS emulator or your flashcard if you have one I have dozens of them but I'm not using it right now um, now what you want to do is actually slow down the emulator so that way it looks correct I have it under one I, I have it just showing the top screen to reduce the light. anyway so first of all get to the point where you can get into a battle in my case I just need to walk up to this door and go through some dialogue Slow down the emulator to about 25, to about 25% of its actual speed. You can hold the space bar to get Now, after it sends out to one, I recommend that you save state. So that way you can watch this over and over again and see how well it flows. In my case, it actually looks pretty good. because it's a little bit loud sorry and there you go that's how you edit a sprite in Pokemon black white black 2 and white 2 but of course that is just the back sprite I'm gonna next up is actually the front sprites and if you're playing black 1 and white 1 this is actually very easy for you but if you're doing black 2 and white 2 this can be rather difficult I'll be showing I'll be going over how to do both games, starting off with black one, white one, because that is easiest. So the next thing that we're going to be focusing on is front trainer sprites for black one and white one. This one is a lot more straightforward than pretty much everything else that's going to be distributed in this video. So anyway, let's open up our readme so that way we know which file that we need to go to. And in this case, it is A072. 
So now that we know where to go, let's open up Nitro Explorer. Load ROM. And I load the ROM. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yes, it is. Now to go to A0 7 2. Extract. You can name the file whatever you like, but make sure that it has the extension dot N A R C. Stands for Nintendo Archive. And then in this case I'm going to be calling this B W one underscore zero I oh know, sorry, A zero seven two. So that way we know so that way I won't get confused. Did it seriously just do that? <coughs> So that way I won't get confused confused where to go in their directory. Dot N A R C. Okay. Press save. Close out Nitro Explorer. Now go to Kiwi or sorry, go to Tink. And now find your NARC that you just made. In my case, it's BW under BW one underscore A zero seven two. Click open. Now select the NARC in the directory and then press unpack. You have to unpack it while the NARC is isolated, or else you will be unpacking or, or else sorry, you will be extracting the entire the entire ROM rather than just the NARC that you want to to extract. Press extract. Say yes and make a new folder. You have to make a new folder and you can't allow you cannot have the the new the extracted NARC sorry the un the unpacked NARC with the packed NARC in the same folder or else they will or else Tink will say that this file already exists and will not make a new file. So in my case, I already have a new folder, so I'm just going to select it and then press OK. Once the loading is gone, close out a tink and now open up BWSE. Now, so let's go ahead and select the folder that it's in. In my case, it's a new folder and it should be in there. Press OK. Now it's going to be asking you a question. Just say yes and then press start. And now we have the front sprite front trainer sprites of Pokemon Black One and White One. Now, as you already know, Pokemon Black One and White One have very still sprites. As long as there are forty eight it was either forty eight or seventy eight pixels <clears throat> as long as it's in a 48 no I'm pretty sure it's 70 wait yeah it's 48 as long as it's within a 48 and 48 48 by 48 pi uh, 48 by 48 pixel uh, wide frame then you should be okay with importing the sprite do not surpass it or else it just won't show up the reason why that they have the the image so big is because there are three sprites that actually use multiple image multiple images and that is N Sharon and sorry N Sharon and Bianca so and also this is just so that way they have the sprites the same way the same size as any Pokemon sprite or back sprite. This is just a way to save memory. I don't know how it works, but it does. Anyway, as you can see here, Sharon and Bianca have three sprites. And same thing with N if you can locate it, which should be just uh don't do this to me. Okay. Which should just be in number forty. So <clears throat> Something to know is that you are not capable of, with this program, you are not ed el eligible to edit beyond what you see here. 
Um, so that means that the movements still occur from from these three characters. So in N's case, he gets pushed back a little bit. In Bianca's case, case it starts off with the second sprite, and then it goes back. Then it goes to the third sprite. Then it goes back to the second sprite. Goes to the third sprite, and then it goes to the first sprite, and it pushes her back a little bit. Sharon, on the other hand, does not have any movement to that I pretty much know. So Sharon might be the best bet if you want to edit the sprites um, for. If you want to edit animated sprites, everyone else they're very still, and all you do is just replace the sprite, and you're good to go. Um, in this case, though, I'm just going to. Well, yeah, I'm going to edit both a moving sprite and a static sprite, mainly because I am actually standing in front of a trainer that will immediately locate me as soon as I enter into the game. So let's go ahead and export this sprite, and you can name it whatever you like. In my case, I'm just gonna call it call it zero three seven. Save, and then I'm also going to be editing the trainer that I'm currently in front of. So if I go, I guess further down. There we go. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. I went too fast. There she is. And we're going to go ahead and export that image as well. So, 007 it looked like. Was it 007? Zero zero th oh, zero 013. <sighs> Work with me, brain. I am cooperating. I am making a tutorial here. Okay. There we go. Now that we have a trainer, now that we have two trainers that we can edit, we can actually edit this in Microsoft Paint if we like. There we go. Control save. Now let's go ahead and exit through that. Go to number, I think it was 37. Perfect. Import image. And now let's go ahead and paste her in there and she still has lines. All right, cool. Now let's close out of BWSE and now let's go open up Kiwi DS. Tools, make an arc file, source file, source file folder very accurately, new folder, BW1 underscore A072. Okay. Oh, right. Before that, uh, delete your your old narc. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Delete your old narc and then press OK. Okay, now it should replace the narc. Close out of Kiwi. Open up Nitro. Load ROM. And then go to your game that you want to edit. A0. Zero. Seven, and then it was two. Reinsert. And now find it right here. Open. File to replace successfully. Close. Now open up your game, which should be right here. Nope, that's the copy right here. Okay. So first is the static one. And there she is. There's Courtney right there. <laughs> uh, apparently.
Definitely choose Nursery Aid Autumn. Okay, so now I'm going to reset. Now, as mentioned several times before, editing the front sprites for Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 is actually going to be a bit more difficult than White 1 and Black 1. Now, to be perfectly honest, I actually haven't really tested how to edit the Black 2 and White 2 sprites, but it should be pretty straightforward and about the same way that you would edit the the back sprites for 5th for gen. Anyway, first things first, we need to know where we're going, so open up the readme file, and our front trainer sprites are going to be located in A071. So now let's go ahead and minimize that, and open up Nitro Explorer. Load ROM. Load up the ROM that you need, that you like, in my case it's this one. So we need to go to A0. Seven, one. Extract. Name whatever. Name the file whatever you like, but make sure it has the file extension dot n a r c, which stands for Nintendo Archive. Okay. In this case, I'm going to be naming this one b w two underscore a zero seven one, so I won't forget where it's at later on. Click save. Close down Nitro Explorer and open up Tink. Find your new, find your new NARC, and it is this one. Select the NARC and then click on Unpack. You have to isolate the NARC from the ROM, or else you will be getting the, or else when you extract the ROM, you will be getting the entire ROM extracted rather than just the NARC. You can extract the NARC from from Tink from the ROM uh, with Tink from the ROM, but you gotta make sure that the NARC is isolated before you unpack it. So now click on Extract. Click on Yes. Now make a new folder. I already have a new folder. Um, you gotta keep in mind that you are not allowed to have the the NARC and the and the unpack NARC in the same file or else you will get issues. It'll say that the basically Tink will say that the file already exists and it will not create the new unpacked file. So you have to create a new folder. And then once the new folder is selected, press OK. Wait for it to load. Once the loading screen is out of the way, just close out of Tink. And now let's open up BWSE. Select folder. Select your new folder. And then find the unpacked NARC. In my case, it's this one. Click on OK. Say yes. And then start. Now, much like the previous back sprites, I have also edit already edited one of the sprites in this in this file. So anyway, we have Nate, we have Rosa, we have Youngster, we have Lass, and we have Schoolboy. Now, as you can see from here, or heck, I can't even see it, but yeah, 
as you can see from here, I already made a bunch of little notes on here. Pose 1 and then pose 2. And then here we have head 1 and then head 2, arm 1, arm 2, torso 1. Um, this is supposed to be leg 1, leg 2. Um, Pokeball 1. And then I'm not sure what exactly that little bit is. But um, anyway, we have the satchel, we have the shoes, and with this random square. Um, these random squares appear to be in no sprites. Like you can even see in Nate. Um, I don't really know any other examples, but oh uh, yeah, I like this waitress right there. Even Silen and Cress. I don't know what those use are used for, but it might be best just to keep them in there just to be on the safe side if you're planning on editing one of these sprites. I'm going to now one of the easiest sprites to actually edit would be swimmer female because all she does is move her arm forward move her arm forward like she's stretching let's see if I can find her real fast if not then I'll, I'll just forget it. There's also these test sprites right here but there's no way to get them in game without Knowing C++, where is it? Oh, Rich Boy could also be a pretty good candidate if you know how it moves. But I don't know how how he moves, so um, yeah. Anyway, wow, she's pretty far down there, isn't she? Okay, here she is. Yeah, all she does is move her arm, and then the rest of it is just little, little slight shifts until the point where she moves her arm. But yeah, it starts off with her arm being, being down here, I believe, and then she just go ahead and lifts it up, and then that's the final sprite. But, yeah, we're working with Schoolboy right now. So, if you wish to follow along, but then by all means, do so. So, we're going to export the image. And we're just going to call it 004. School, because why not? You can name it whatever you like. And click on Save. Now, close out of, close out of BWSE and open up your paint program that can open up layers and we're good to go I hope save save uh, ED and then make sure that it is a PNG save okay flatten Flatten, close, minimize, or yeah, close. Anyway, now go back to BWSE. Select folder, new folder. Your your unpacked NARC. Open. Okay. Scroll down to wherever your your spray you're supposed to edit in. Import image. Scroll down to your imp to your new image. Okay, now close out of BWSE, Nitro Explorer, open ROM. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, open up KiwiDS, delete your old NARC, tools, make NARC file, dot dot dot, on, under new source file folder, or sar source file folders, source files folder. Um, open up your extracted NARC, press OK, press OK again. Now your NARC, your new NARC is created, so close out of Kiwi, open up Nitro, load ROM, and then open up the ROM you like, A071. Reinsert, scroll down to you brand new NARC 
wait for it file one replace successfully close now open up your open up your game there it is and uh, let's see how things work out <laughs> uh. Pose one, as you can see, it's actually off centered. He blinks, and it's really off centered. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. Are you okay there, sir? <laughs> I honestly feel a little bad for him. <laughs> okay, let's finish the battle and see what ha see what he looks like then. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Okay, he's been defeated. And yeah, <laughs> uh, you can clearly see where I kind of messed up on this. I went over the uh, forty six. I went over 47 pixels and um, that's typically what happens. Okay, so now for the final and hardest thing to edit and that is the actual Pokemon themselves. Now, thankfully I was actually given permission by Trainer Splash who made this amazing Alolan Raichu Sprite and giving me permission to and this person gave me permission to insert this sprite into the game itself and I am very grateful for that so thank you again Trainer Splash and I'll be using it into the tutorial so that way and get to see your creation come to life anyway so with that being out of the way let's go ahead and open up Nitro Explorer load ROM and you can actually choose whatever ROM you like because if you go to the README, you'll notice that the Pokemon sprites for Black, White, Black 2, and White 2 are actually the inside the same NARC. So in my case, I'm going to go over with Black 1 and White 1 because it'll be easier to demonstrate. Click on Open. Now, now once again, it's A, 0, 0, 4. Click Extract. Now you can name the file whatever you like, but make sure that it has the file extension .narc. In my case, I'm just going to be calling it bw1 underscore a004. In case I get confused into where the directory goes later on, click on Save, and your new NARC has been created. So now close out of Nitro Explorer. Now open up Tink. Find your NARC, in my case is right over here, click open. Now select the NARC from the directory and then click on unpack. Now this will take a long time. Um, now something to note is that you can extract the NARC from, from the ROM itself using Tink. However, you must unpack the NARC when the NARC is isolated. The reason for this is because if you unpack the NARC while it's in the ROM, and then extract it, you'll actually extract the unpacked ROM rather than the unpacked NARC. So make sure that the NARC is isolated before you unpack the NARC. Anyway, so like I said, this will take a while. You may even see a not responding log, uh, notification up here, but it is still working. So just wait for this for a little while, and then when it's done, just Okay, wow, it's done. That was actually pretty fast. And then when it's done, just click on Extract. Yes. And then make a new folder. Um, because if you save 
this unpacked narc um, in the same file folder that your that this narc already exists in, then then you will then Tink will say this file already exists and will not make this unpacked narc. So luckily for me, I already have a new. Oh, whoops, wrong folder. Luckily for me, I already have a new folder, and so I'm just going to select that and then press OK. And once again, this will take a little bit. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done. Okay, so once the loading bar disappears, it's it's done. So go ahead and close out a tink. And it'll take a little bit. Just got to be patient with it. There we go. Now open up BWSE. Now select this Pokemon box. That is very important. Select folder. Now open up the new folder and then select the unpack NARC. Now click OK. And it'll say that it needs to be repacked properly and press yes. And then start. And then once again this will take a little bit so I'll pause again. Okay so now once you see my signal over here, here you're ready to go. So now I'm going to go down to right choose right and we're going to change that into into our Alolan Raichu. Well, I went too far, way too far. Okay. Um, something to note is that this is actually in national numerical order. Um, so, so if you know your Pokédex, you can easily find these wrong these these ones. However, keep in mind that near the end, after you reach uh, Genosect, uh, you will actually see. Um, all of the other variants of the Pokemon. So in, uh, in this case, like, hold on, let me show, let me show you officially. So here we have Landorus, Curum, Meloetta. Here we go, Genesect, and then we got Egg, Egg, Manaphy, Egg, and then B, C, D, E, F, all the way down to G. Then we had the alternate forms of Gastrodon and then Rotom and even <laughs> even um, even Distortion World form Giratina and Sky form other Basculus, the seasons of Deerling and Stoutland or Sazbuck and even the different color Genesects. But anyway, besides all of that, this is all in a numerical order. So, you scroll back up to to Raichu, and if you're making a ROM hack, if you're planning on making a ROM hack, um, you gotta import the male front sprite, the female front sprite, the male back sprite, the female back sprite, the static male and female front and back sprites, and all of those but the shiny it with with the shiny forms however because I am just simply going to be showing off how to do this um, I'm just going to be going off on how to edit the front and back back static sprites and and the male and female well actually no because the male and female Alolan Raichu are actually the same are actually the same but um, so actually what I can do is so what I can do is just simply copy and paste uh, the edited male sprite into the female sprite so so anyway what I need to do right now is insert is export export the front sprite so move front and then the back sprite. Move back. Huh? Oh, that's. Oh, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, I went to export. Move back. And then the static sprites. So, export. 
still front. And then, oh, whoops, and then of course the back sprites. Still back. Safe. Okay, so like I said, if you're doing a if you're doing a ROM hack, you'll also need to do the female sprites as well as the shiny sprites as well. So, but since this is just a demonstration, I'm just going to be showing off the non-shiny sprites. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up our paint program. Um, I'm going to be starting off with the still sprites. So I'm going to be opening up um, Microsoft Paint here. And you actually have a 96 by 96 area to work with. And that should be plenty of room to work with any kind of sprite that you're working on. Networks. Anyway, and now I gotta copy the background color and fill it in. There we go. Now let's merge all the layers. Okay, now file. Save as, make sure it's a PNG, save. Oh, uh, no. And then ED, save. Okay. And now to reinsert it into the game. Don't save. Okay, there we go. So now let's open up BWSE, select the Pokemon box. Select folder, new folder, BWA004, scroll down till you get to your Pokemon, in my case it is one. It is 599, now import image, this should be the front sprite, And the back image too. Import image. And now the static images as well. Import. Oh, I almost forgot. Sync palette. Make sure you have the sync palette um, enabled too. So, anyway. It should be the back. Yes, it is. And now the front. And now uh, let's go ahead and get the this again with the sync palette. That's my mistake. Oh, whoops! That was the front image. Let's try that again. There we go. Now for the back, which has already been synced. Okay, so just make sure that you have all of them correct, which I do. Well, nope, never mind. <laughs> this is the front image and not the back. There we go. So, still make sure that you have everything correct, which I do. And, um, great. So now, let's go to uh, QEDS, file, open, oh, um, I'm sorry, tools, uh, NARC file, open source file folder, new folder, BWA04 NARC, press OK, OK, and it's going to take a little bit. Oh no, I forgot to delete the NARC again. Delete the old narc before you do this. I apologize. <sighs> okay. Let's try that. Let's do that again. Make a narc file. New folder. One. Okay. Press okay. And just wait it out. 
Wait till that window closes before you continue. There we go. Close out of Kiwi. Open up Nitro. Load ROM. And then find your the ROM you want to edit. Here's mine. Open A zero zero four. Reinsert. And now go to your new NARC, which is right here. Okay, now I gotta hack um, in some Pokemon, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I had a bit of trouble implementing it as a as a starter Pokemon. So luckily, I had a backup plan. So that's the correct version. Okay, cool. Okay, where's the save? Okay, great. Oh, wait, I didn't even grab the code. My mistake. Hmm, where, where is it? Should be around here. There it is. Take that through. <laughs> there it is. And, uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Okay, so it didn't really count the, uh, <laughs> so it didn't count the, the background layer as the alpha channel. But at least we got the back working. I mean, look how smooth that is. The ears do need a little bit more editing, but honestly, that's pretty fluent. Uh, obviously, there's also a coloration issue going on, especially with the front sprite. But let's see it in, with a male. Oh, wait, actually, I need that. So if you got a coloration issue, kind of like what I did, um, 
In fact, there's actually a coloration issue with uh, the back sprite as well. Basically, what's best if you just t simply take a magnifying glass and just try to look for the details that are actually kind of weird. Like, for an example, these cheeks they don't seem like they're the proper cheeks. That's because they aren't. So, therefore, seems to be the only problem. Oh, wait. wait. Yeah, <laughs> I completely missed these cheeks here. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I completely missed these cheeks. That is my mistake. There we go. That's better. Now, let's see here. I feel like that these colors are a little bit off over here, too. So. Looks like I'm going to need to use this color. And just kind of do that. Yeah, they were off. <clears throat> Every other color looks a little bit cor looks correct. Just to be on the safe side, I'll go ahead and use this. Okay. So now for the feet, they're okay. Yeah, it's just those cheeks that had issues. Now for. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. Uh, cancel. So now let's open up the actual thing <laughs> and uh, paint and paint and just kind of copy and paste the two edits that I made. Oops, wrong way. So it's just the body and the. So it's just simply the body and the head. Control C, go to the other one, Control V. Oh, Control Z. Oh, yeah, this is the wrong file. My bad. Um let's see here. I need this one. No. Control V. Control Z. Something's still not right. I'm missing the ears. Okay, that's no big deal. Control V. Actually, Control Z. Never mind. Control Z. Um, let me just move the ears out of the way real fast. Now, Control V. Control Z. Dang it. Lower. Okay, I just gotta remember it is. about two pixels away so three pixels away and then the bottom of the ear should be let's figure this out properly no Okay, let's try this all again. Okay, so looking from this, it is one to two pixels, two pixels, and then it should be. Let me grab a line tool. a little bit difficult here we go there we go now I have a general idea where it's supposed to be ah uh, it's a little bit hard with this there we go so I'm one pixel off but that should be okay okay I'm one pixel off no matter what <laughs> 
Okay, let me get rid of this stupid magnifying glass tool. It's actually making it a lot harder than it should be. Okay. Actually, that's pretty much all I need to copy now I think about it. Let me just connect the face. There we go. Let's go that down to a safe distance. Control V. I'll put this back up. There we go. I'll delete those lines that I made. Okay. Control S. Now let's go ahead and fix the front which has the biggest issue honestly I think it's just the case of uh, it not having the proper color yeah it is definitely darker so all I need to do now is control C and then find it again control V it's just a simple Heck, I could barely even see it. Yeah, but it's just those simple, tiny details that can pretty much mess you up. Oh, gosh, dang it. Okay. Heck, it still looks darker. Hmm. I wonder what's up then. Why does it keep showing it? Because it's a PNG. That's what's up. Okay, so what I'm going to be needing to do then is figure this out. How can I make it baby blue? <clears throat> so what I can do is Control A, Control C, and then Control V. I said Control V. Control A, Control C, Control V, there we go. Actually, Control Z first. Copy this color. Control V, ah, Control V, thank you. Thank you. Now pick this color, and now let's erase. There we go. Control A, Control C. Control V. No, that won't work. All right, then I will have to save this as a manual PNG. So file, save as a PNG. Alola fixed front, and I'll make it to the desktop. Okay, now that should be fixed and no. okay now this should be fixed and I'll be inserting it back into the game uh, which will take a little bit so I guess I'll be right back I guess I could insert it first and then I'll cut it cut away for the rest of the steps yeah the problem was that it was darker I somehow thought it was going to be. Okay. Female, import image. I forgot to sync the palettes again. Yeah, if I go back to male, it'll be darker again. So I need to do this one more time.
There we go. Now for the back as well. Because that was, that was having some issues. Oh, and there's now this white little spot here. Okay, I gotta fix that again. Ah, did I seriously do that? Paint. Oh, that's the wrong paint. Oh, well, it should be okay. Sharon violation. Okay, yeah, that means I gotta close out of these. Nope, not those. It means I'm having the sharing the same thing for something. I'm sharing the same thing with BWS. Okay. There we go. Ah, derp. I need to sink the pellets. I keep forgetting about that. Okay. Now uh, everything should be fixed. Alright, everything's now fixed. So now let's go ahead and try this again. <sighs> okay, so now let's try this again. My audio glitched out last time, so. I apologize. Come on, I'm pressing X. What's going on? Okay. Now hopefully everything should be fixed. There we go. That's the proper right to. Okay, now let's see it in battle.
it seems like the ear is a bit short, but that's partly because of uh, Raichu's actual ear. All that's really need to be done. Sorry, let me pause that. It's really loud. All that really needs to be done is to move it a little bit to the left, and that should be good. But other than that, everything turned out perfectly good, perfectly fine. Um, there's still a little bit of coloration awkwardness going on, but I blame the game for that. So, yeah, I blame the game for the awkward coloration in the end. But overall, it turned out fine. So let's go ahead and defeat this guy. Or it defeats me with a critical hit and normal gem. Jeez. Alright, well. Anyway. I know that the end was a little bit sloppy, but I hope this helps and I'll be seeing ya.